that's right, it's the Not Necessarily the Financial News Network. After our most successful year, even though it was our first year, we're amazed to find we're still on the air. And we continue to bring you the highest quality of programming. From New York, here are Victor Livingston and Celeste Whiteford. Good afternoon, and the headlines for Wednesday, the 7th of January. The nation's major automakers are enjoying another upturn in sales. We have those stories and more in a moment, but first, FNN's Bill Griffith takes a closer look at the day's market action. Bill? Another strong day in stocks today, up 19 points on the Dow, up 17 points on Fancy. The advances over the declines by a strong 3 to 1 margin. In options trading Wednesday on the Chicago Board Options Exchange, call volume totaled 332, 374. I'll get this straight. Put volume 217,862 for a total volume of 550,236. Those stories and much more ahead, but first let's review the day's trading with Robert Metz on Wall Street. Good evening, Bob. How are you? Uh, yeah, let me start. The stock market was no place for bulls yesterday, just too slippery. Prices were firm at the open, but in late trading, they weakened. We'll come back to wrap things up with Jack Nerad on cars right after this. Celeste? Important part. Thanks, Ed. Insider trading. Well, we're doing... Making money in a spread. Tuesday at 4.30 Eastern on Money Talk. I better do that again. <laughs> That's a terrible line. Who wrote that? <laughs> Delivery was great. <laughs> How can we keep such rigid standards? It is a direct result of our unique management style. Look, you work for me. I'll tell you when to be scared. You wanted to work in TV, didn't you? Yes, but I killed a man for you. That's part of working in TV. Do you know how many people would kill you for your job? Okay, Bob, okay. Can I get you some fresh coffee? No. Your coffee-making days are over. I'd be a coffee cake. Top quality programs from top quality professionals. And these high standards are carried over to our sports service, Snore. Ladies and gentlemen, boxing fans across the country, hide the children. It's time for the fist to fly. Ah, yes. Our hero, Herb Talk. You know, uh, New Year's Eve, we were, we were noticing the other... Uh, Sports networks were dressed up in tuxedos and everything else. Uh, Bill Brown, and we kind of came up with the idea: let's let's honor our hero and dress up like him. And that, of course, Herb Tarlick from WKRP, the salesman of salesmen. Uh, it's kind of neat. Uh, a rare opportunity to look pretty funky. Yes, and, and we figured out how to tie our ties this way, and we were uh, figured out how to uh, properly uh, coordinate plaids and stripes. And uh, without further ado, you have a special introduction to me. Yes, as a matter of fact, this is uh, the fourth edition, I believe, of Hot Stove League. And we have our regular host, Byron Day, here for his first time hosting Hot yes. Stove League. Uh, Byron, as you know, has been sidelined due to a back problem. And so with a little bit of fanfare, but not too much, we introduce the man who is the host of Hot Stove League with unquestionably the wildest outfit of any of us tonight. That's Byron correct. Day, please sit. Uh, The plaids, as you'll see, uh, are coordinated so that they do not match at all. It's Herb Tarlick. It's, you know, I tell you, I look up to the man. I just thought that he was, you know, actually, this was Bill Brown's idea. And Bill, of course, affectionately known around here at SCORE as the Robert Hall of sports broadcasters. And <laughs> by golly, I think you can understand why. For those of you who have begun celebrating New Year's back east a little ahead of time, please do not adjust your television sets. We all look this way. There's no truth to the rumor that Donald O'Connor will be stopping by in a few moments to discuss his role in singing in the rain. <laughs> I want to I say this to all the folks back east. 
that have been struggling through a very tough winter back there, and we've all been enjoying the sunshine. It is pouring outside. It, well, you can tell right I mean, it's raining inside our studio. That's how hard the rain's coming down, which gives new meaning to the word carpool out here in Los Angeles. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Don't ever let CBS see this. <laughs> and let's not forget about our favorites, the game shows. How long can he go? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Bingo Vision, Fresno's newest and most exciting TV game show. Alan Sloan's going to give you the details on what you can win if you get this question correct. Alan? Well, David, all you have to do is answer the question Ron's going to pose for you in just a minute, and you will be the recipient of the Statue of Liberty. This is a knife. It's a perfect gift for your family, for anyone who wants commemoratives of our country's most historic symbol of freedom. Now, it retails for 100 bucks. However, anybody not named David can get it by calling us at a number I'll give you in a minute for just $49. Now, it's Schrade Cutlery, and that was selected by the Museum of the City of New York to produce limited edition statues of Liberty Knives. There's only 15,000 of these gonna be produced and each knife will be serialized and registered. Hey, the telescope, oh, you know what? <laughs> you know what? There's only 15,000 knives. You don't have to worry about it. Alan, forget all about that. <laughs> Never mind, David. <laughs> you know what? I forgot that was the extra. Oh, well, tune in tomorrow at the same time when the new guy will be telling you about the telescope. <laughs> and now that I have safely extricated my foot from my mouth, let's get back, David. Here is Ron with your question. In case you've forgotten, you're watching What's News. That's right. David, are you a stargazer? Uh, I would be if I win. <laughs> I guess so. Huh? Okay, you might even be able to see those knives a little bit better than I was talking about. That's enough. Anyway. All right, MGM is the... Alan, it's been nice working with you, by the way. Uh, Star Trek. What's News? The Final Frontier. These are the voyages of the FNN Network. It's five-year mission. To boldly go where no network has gone before. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> enough, enough. You're not going to hit the high seat, are you? <laughs> You, you still there, Don? Oh, yeah. I'm oh, not. good. I'm yeah, we, we didn't lose that one. Uh, Time out for trivia. Take a hike. Take a hike. I can imagine if you're an airhead like that dude is. You know, that kind of guy right there, let's just put his head in a microwave oven and watch it pop like a baked potato. Who's playing time out? Who's playing time out for trivia? Ah, uh, they're all here for the gala opening of the official time out for trivia music rock video. Hi everyone, I'm Todd Donahoe and welcome to the party. It's the official party uh, for the gala opening of the official Time Out for Trivia Rock Party. Uh, the winner of the, whoa, hey, they're popping the champagne, you better. The winner, the winner of the official video contest, Mr. Russ Axum. Russ, come on in. Russ Axum. Oh, man, how you doing? Real good, Russ. Now, you're not going to believe this, but all the videos that were sent in, the guy who happened to have the winning video is one of our cameramen, Russ, here. Oh, Russ. It's right. so, yeah. so, this is so, like, unbelievable. I was out with, uh, surfing with a guy, Brad Toberman, who works there. We're out there on the waves and everything. Brad's like, calm down, Russ, man. You're going to win. This is cool. You know, you've got a good chance. And, like, I sat out there, and Brad went off on the left, and he was just he was tearing it up. And I sat out there, and I looked at the water, and I just said, America. <laughs> All right, man. Right. Now, Russ, I'm going to... You are the official music contest rules, the official winner, and inside here, we have 
a plaque for you. Oh, this nice is so manuscript. Nice. The official winner, time out for trivia, oh, video contest. Guys. Mr. Russ right. Axon, yeah. distinguished composer, lyricist, etc., 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 signed Hami Van der Brugge, professor of video and nerdist. Oh, here you so, go. Thank you very much. So, I've got some thanks to give you here. I've got an official Russ Axon, 8 by 10. Oh, wow. There you go. An official Russ Axman, Bill Kahn, like, hey! I'm, yeah, he's, he's the guy who helped me out with this. He's, he's a great dude. And official Russ Axman Records and everything. Just yeah. Yeah. All right, without further ado, the official Time Out for Trivia music video by Russ Axman. Yeah, all right. Yeah. My name is Todd, and trivia's a game. Where are you from, and what's your name? Wager a guess, we don't have all night. You're an American, so use that right. Trivia. Trivia. Mamania the big score in the daily double. It's positive mental attitude or you'll be in trouble. If you might, not even in the bar, bar take a take a Trivia. Trivia. If your answer's right, then you will win. It feels tremendous, my friend. Time out for Trivia. The muscles contract, the tension build, the smell of an armpit, the roar of a crowd. <laughs> is this a great moment in sports or what? Once again, please remember that this is not a competition. It is three points of view. News, sports, game shows, and, but not necessarily the Financial News Network, has expanded into the home shopping service with Cell Schlock. And welcome everyone to Tell Shop. We're television's finest home shopping service, providing you with great items, low, low prices, and fast, courteous service. All you have to do is dial our toll-free number, which is 1-800-962-2962 for the lowest prices anywhere on uh, name brand merchandise with discounts of up to 50% off the retail price. Now, Tell Shop guarantees that if you find the same item for less within 30 days, just send us the proof and you will be refunded the difference. Tell Shop is the world's largest department store right in the privacy and comfort of your own home. So come on in and enjoy. We've got some great items for you. Strangers in the night. <laughs> it's changing glances. Wandering in the night. Yeah. Where uh, we've been sharing love. Yeah. Before the night was Doobie doobie doo. Rum tummy tummy. Rum tum looby doo. for just actually throwing money at it. Money. Five hundred twenty-five dollars. Yes. If you dial one eight hundred nine six two two nine six two, just dial that phone number now. You get a shot to talk with Michelle. Say hi, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. I, I can't hear you, that good, because you're on the microphone. Montel Show. You know where this would look fantastic? If you are a boat owner, um, not so much on a small 28-footer or a small 30-footer, but if you've got a sizable launch, uh, you know, 35 feet upwards, this looks, even though it, it's, it's fashioned after the Orient Express, this looks rather nautical, wouldn't you say, Chris? Rather nautical, good solid... Aye, aye. Aye, aye, skipper. Good solid brass type seaman. There's a seaman look to it. Nautical look to it. A very nautical look and... Well, damn it. I've been panning for gold for a very long time now. I'm getting real tired all these years standing here panning for gold. I wish I could find myself a real nice piece of jewelry instead of doing this stuff. 
Timothy, my young man, you think maybe perhaps you got some jewelry for me? I'm tired of doing this. What do you think? <laughs> Not bad. Let's hear it for the boys. Let's give the boys a hand. Kind of, there you go, fans. I think you kind of get the idea of what you can do with this. Uh, you have to start off with a good voice, but when you're talking about, he made sing off key, but that's all right with me. She was talking about me because I can't. Anyway, 1-800-962-2962. Uh, this thing is fantastic at parties. You have fun just like uh, Donna just had right now. And, and bottom line, too, if there is any record company out here who just heard Donna Hay sing, and she just came in, didn't even practice sing, just came in and sang, uh, you don't dial that number there. You dial Financial News Network's number. It's in Santa Monica. And you talk to her agent, Todd Donahoe. And, um, and right now, we're inking it up right now. Here's the pack. Donna, I get, I get 60 40 cut. And uh, don't worry. Uh, Todd, wait a minute. Yeah. We are on television. Todd. Yes, we are. 60 40. I get 60, you get 40. Tell you what, I'll take 10%, you take the rest. Hey, any, any music company, give this gal a call. She's fantastic. Well, these are Tosco binoculators, and John is going to talk to you about these. John? Thank you very much, Nicole. You know, these are lovely things. Uh, they uh, list for $209.95, <laughs> but at Teleshop, we, we allow you to have them for only $99. <laughs> Wanted to make sure I got the price right, which is why I had the index card out with all that information on it, in case uh, you didn't know that. Thank you. It's the Cabbage Patch Bicycle, and it's perfect for any little girl. Do I see? Do, is it happening? This is the greatest show in the world to look at. Delivery. Oh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This is a this is a great operation here. Oh, two ninety nine. I got a hair. I got a hair. Right here. <laughs> Okay, two ninety nine for the donuts. Okay, uh, you got change for a five here. Okay, change for a five. Okay, change for a five. Two dollars. Yeah, penny holder. Wait a minute. No, that's all right. Uh, let me get a quarter or something. I want to tip the man. I want to tip him. Have we got a quarter or something? Here, listen. Never say I was cheap. An entire dollar tip there. Thank you very much. I tell you, this is the friendliest show in the history of television. I tell you, and Yum Yum Donuts. Wow. Yum. I didn't know Yum Yum was open at this hour. Ladies and gentlemen, Yum Yum Donuts, not included, of course, in the... Uh, ooh, good looking donuts here. Okay. Anybody want to come up and help yourself to crullers, donuts, things like that? Come on up here. Come on, really. It's breakfast time here on Tell Shop, and uh, it's happening now. This is live television. You wouldn't see this. You wouldn't see this on a wrestling program. They never give out donuts on a wrestling show. Not those movies where they cut things out, like stuff like that. Doesn't anybody want a donut? Am I going to have to eat all 12 dozen donuts here? Come on. Come on out. Yeah, come on, Joe. Hey, Joe's over here. Joe's going to get some donuts. Come on up here. Come on. Uh, the cameras will drift because the cameramen are coming up here getting donuts out. <laughs> have a donut. Come on. There's a good the, the, That pink one looks good. That's all natural, of course. Yeah. There's one with the nuts in it. That's good. Oh, yeah. Take the crawler, right? Yeah, take it back to the tape department. Uh, make sure a sound guy gets it because my microphone went out earlier and we, we don't want them angry. Okay, we'll put the donuts away. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, world's John, friendliest... What are we selling? I don't really Mmm. <laughs> no, oh, thank God for donuts. Got a call right now, though. Of course, we're getting real close right now. We're getting ready to go to our next item with uh, Deanna and... Uh, oh, my sister is in this one. It's my sister, Jackie. We're a pretty girl. Just a fabulous fashion in fur is coming up, a red fox fur coat. And for the tall girls amongst you, we thought we'd have a very special model, Jackie, show you this. 
Uh, on Jackie, as a matter of fact, you'll find this great 100% motor acrylic fur coat. It's actually a 7 8 line. Very new, very luxurious, very gorgeous. There's our lovely extra tall girl, Jackie. Yes, this coat fits the tall, slinky ones amongst you. Jackie, give us a turnaround as only you could do. We just stole Jackie from one of the top designers as she turns on the runway. What grace, what elegance. Jackie, that's it. Just give us that, that three-quarter look. Okay, enough, Jackie. Give me back my coat. Oh, Madeline, you, I'm Mom always said like you best. That's right. And honey, you got to do your mustache, please. Don't embarrass me. <laughs> this, this is the family name you're taking care of now. Oh. Oh. Wait, wait in the car, Jackie. Thank you very much, honey. <laughs> what a gal. And since Selschlock has been such a gigantic success, we've decided to go into another home shopping service. something out there. It's after kids everywhere. It entices them, confuses them, and can even kill them. <laughs> As you can probably tell, all our employees feel that not necessarily the Financial News Network is a fun place to work. If they were going to give the earth an enema, that's where they'd stick the nozzle. Well, maybe not everyone, but our staff is very enthusiastic about the future of our company. Hey, this is going to be a great year! <laughs> your music when the answer is finished, Mike. Good morning, America. You know, this is not such a nice thing to say, but sometimes I think you are... American President Mr. Reagan is completely local. We ain't got no Sandinistas in Honduras. There's no Sandinistas nowhere. Not a place could I find a Sandinista. Not one stinking Sandinista in the... Shut up, you are my... Senor, what do you got? Look at this. Look, look. 20 million dollars? 20 million dollars. Right, go. 20. Today? <laughs> Sure, we got Sandinistas. We lousy with Sandinistas. Everywhere you look is a Sandinista. They in the refrigerator with the mayonnaise. They is a peeking out of my wife's blouse. Sandinistas is a... Shh, madre de Dios, I got a Sandinista under my bench. We need the money real bad. Oh, thank you, Mr. Reagan, because we is crawling with Sandinistas. Miguel, you see a Sandinista, don't you, Jesus? You see one too, huh? Sandinistas, everywhere is Sandinistas. Thank you very much. I gotta get my gun. I see a Sandinista only on the bus this morning when I was coming here to the working place. Hey, we can buy oh, many things with these helicopters, uh, guns that shoot real bullets, even the bullets we can buy. Sandinista. Change your music when the answer is finished, Maestro. Anybody want to play Twister? 